Hey everybody, welcome to the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. I'm just saying, I want to know who's the one who gets to decide all of these, and I would just, I would like to be there when it was pronounced like, well, these are the things. That's all. I mean, to me, it's, some of them are like, why would you have picked that? Live my life with Aaron. Would you fill in all the blanks now? Well, okay. No, there's a huge announcement that comes out every year of the new food trends for that year, and it's done by okay. respected uh, culinary magazines and right. chefs and, and nutritionists, and basically, most importantly, are all like the food trends they're seeing. See how it works when you all of a sudden you start getting more information, how it helps conversation? But in any Continue. case, and some of it I can see, I'm like, oh yeah, I can see like paleo things are big again. What's paleo, by the way? Pa the paleo diet. Which is? It's it's one of the it's more lower carb higher protein. He's like a caveman paleontologist. Mm -hmm. Sort of. Paleo Go ahead. Like that. Anyway, yeah. some of those I can see, you know, the good fats versus the bad or whatever, you know, and sugar. Mm -hmm. But some of these new trends where they're like this is what's going to be on the grocery shelf and you will like it. You want to see what they are? Look. What have you done? This isn't my fault. What is this? This is from the 2019 food trends. And when they released this stuff, this is scary because this is what stores are going to start stocking. This is what advertisers are going to start pounding into your innocent little brain. This is what you're going to be eating whether you want to or not. What, what am I holding here? So the first thing that they're, the food trend that troubles me the most is milk can no longer be milk. Now I can accept right. almond milk. Zozo can was you? on almond milk for a long time. Can, can, you, can you accept that? That is nothing. How many almonds does it take to make a gallon of milk? And you know, then you go into the protein thing and the fat thing, and but they've all decided that no, that's not enough. So what we're seeing now is there's a lot more plant-based milks. Um, and to make this even scarier, Pepsi Cola and Coca Cola, who both all do do tons of different coffee brands and coffee things, right, you right, may right, not know right, that, right, right. are now saying, well, everyone has said that they would prefer to drink this with a plant-based milk, so it's going to be infused into a lot of the coffees and stuff. That I worked at I worked at, worked at a little little family-owned dairy. What about the cows? The cows apparently will be untouched. This is from oats, by the way. This is the first one. There's four different brands we're going to try because apparently this is what you will be drinking. Okay. Because the insidious nature of advertising will be making you do You're it. You're first. All right, oat milk. It says it has a mild, sweet flavor. Oat milk. It smells like cardboard. Like Acre oats. I will now enjoy. Not so much. Tastes like oats. It's not bad. It's like liquefied oatmeal. Let's go with another one. Kind of, yeah, the cardboardy stuff. This one. It's chocolate. So it's got to be good. Well, I was trying to add a little something extra because it's really not that tasty. What a dairy-free <laughs> pea milk. Okay, first of all, you need a new name. First of all, just eliminate the word pea from milk. Make bean milk. But... It's from legumes. Pea milk. That's pea milk just seems. Just yeah, it's. You could just say it's made from legumes. No, I'm gonna think it's 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 green, but they've turned it brown because it's. I'm not sure that helps based gelatinous. on the, based on the troubling association we already have. But pea milk, please. All right. So as you can guess, this is a milk that is made just from peas. Legumes. You. Smells like fake chocolate. I'm not sure if they tried to add the chocolate to make you forget that you were drinking milk made from a legume. A pea. I think they're trying to hide, the, hide the color. They think, hide the color. I think the chocolate actually makes it more offensive. I would go with the oat milk before that. I just want to drink pea. That's all I'm saying. You're going to go with this joke forever, aren't you? Pretty much. All right, What's I have hopes one? for this one. This is a nut milk, macadamias. Everyone loves macadamia nuts, right? Well, yeah, but from Hawaii is a gift thing when people come back. Maybe it'll be tasty. Maybe you would like it on your, your cereal in the morning. Could happen, or in your coffee. Is it Hawaiian, or is it? do I need to shake it? It's just, I don't know if you haven't. It's too late now. It's kind of gray. anymore. Right, let's use, let's read some. I don't think it would be blinding white. Because let's read some information milkadamia, here. Macadamia. This is original macadamia milk. Free of soy, uh, GMOs, uh, gluten, gluten, dairy, everything, and it's sustainably farmed. Doesn't in leave a shadow when you drink it. It's it's yeah. from free range trees. It actually says 
free range trees. I don't trees. I feel so much better about this beverage already. I am not kidding you. It says free range trees. I am a, I am a supporter of this these people. Not trees on life support. Fifty percent more have calcium. They strong feelings about their trees. Free range trees. That's hilarious. I'm drinking this one first. Okay. All right. Go ahead. I don't know. I'm smelling it like it's a vintage from a Bordeaux or something. I just feel like I should. This one actually smells kind of it's sweet. It's not bad. It smells kind of sweet. Because they're free range. See? They're happy trees running around. Right? It's it tastes sweet. tastes like vaguely flavored water. It does. But it's not at all offensive. And it's free range. Thank God, because those penned in trees, they're so oh, depressing. Oh, Tell me about it. If you haven't seen them in the corrals. This actually is not bad. Being branded, tagged, and stuff. All right, so this one is dairy-free. Yeah, is not bad. This is flax. This is from a seed. We're just, uh, we've just busted past the legumes and the tree nuts, and now we're moving on to vanilla. actual seeds. Lightly, lightly sweet. I figured I'd give us the best shot. All right, here. Now, the oh. sad thing is, is once again, Coca-Cola and Pepsi are, move it, move are moving these beverages out, and you're going to be enjoying them whether you want to or not. Really? We know the advertising power of these two soft drink giants. What you may not know is, is that they've got their fingers into everything else, too. But the minute I saw that, I went, knew it was the death knell for original milk and that we'd all be drinking this. So, moving past. The, this says nothing about flax seeds being free range. And I am against that well, right off the bat. Well, it says good bat. karma. Like... All right, let's do it. Flax milk. What can you make? This has a troubling... How much... How many flaxes died to make of milk? The smell is troubling. That's, oh. I, that might be the most offensive. No drink. Oh. Ever. No, it's fishy. That might be the most yeah, offensive. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'm but not, you have to drink it, no, you big baby. I'm going back to this one. Which You're is such good. a baby. Oh. Mm. That's horrible. The, That's the flax like a milk, sardine. The flax milk is absolutely the most offensive. Oh, I'm going to taste it. No, so, I'm not. Anyway, there you go. The milkadamia was not bad. And plus, once again, remember the trees are free range. And I feel good about that. How much was this? Three eighty-five. So that's not bad. Which was the most expensive? Do you remember? Um, as I recall, it was, it was the pea milk. Anyway, uh, we're just gonna leave it there. Um, you know your fate. You know what you're going into. So you might want to scoot past the legume milk and the seed milks and just go straight to the nut milks because they're the least horrible. America. Old timer. The Todd and Aaron Daily Stream is brought to you by PC Laptops with desktops and laptops starting as low as $7.99 with a lifetime parts and service warranty. They fix phones too. Go to PCLaptops.com. Welcome back to the Todd and Aaron Daily Stream. I hate stories like this because it always makes me want to just go sit somewhere and blow in a paper bag because the anxiety is so intense. But I want you to look at the picture of this man from the surveillance camera. Here's why this is important. Salt Lake City police are searching for this man because he actually carjacked a van yesterday, uh, threw the mother out at a stoplight, and drove for who knows how much longer before he left a baby who had been in the back seat by the side of the road. At least. This to me is unbelievably terrifying. Right. Because once again, right. he stole a mom's minivan and there was a baby in there. Now, we've all been through every horror story in our mind with children because you can't help it. You're a parent. It's, it's what you do. But this is way too terrifying. So, police say that we're looking for a stolen gray 2001 Honda Odyssey. It's a Utah plate W054VG. Um, he, it was, this was around 2100 South and 6th East. He thinks wow. he's been spotted around the University of Utah. That's surprisingly close. Holy crap. And that was last evening. To, uh, so they That's say, a stolen vehicle, right? Yes. So they say, if you have seen this man or the stolen vehicle, please call the but Salt Lake the, City Police the immediately. the baby is safe. The important thing is the, the baby is safe. The mom is safe. But anyone who's going to carjack a mom and a yeah. baby, he needs to be caught really yeah. quickly. Thanks, really freaking quickly. Thanks for quickly. that info. Now, why is this? You, we were talking hey, about trends today. But let's, this, go, let's go to dinner and take the dog. 
this is a new trend that I'm like, well, I don't... And this isn't even comfort animals, right? This isn't even service dogs. This, this is, is just... dogs. You want to bring your dog. Okay, so we love our dog. I love Gil dearly. I love, uh, I, I, I love Gil dearly. Would I take him to dinner with me? No. And he's Why? a nice dog. He because is. Because dinner is for people. I don't let him around our dining table. Why would I take him to dinner? Apparently, he's considered a door. My sister would do this. Tamara would totally Your sister do would this. break six of the rules that I'm about to tell you. My sister has this thundering herd of special needs dachshunds because she runs a dachshund rescue. One's blind. So there's always it someone just runs to find you at her house. So that's good. But she takes them everywhere. She brought them to Easter. And one of them bit me, so that's why I knew they were there. Brew so House anyway. Pub, Campfire Lounge, Fisher Brewing Company, Flatbread, Garage Grill, Log Haven, One of Eight, Park Cafe, Pig and Jelly Jar, The Point After, Prohibition. Prohibition? Prohibition? Really? Really? Squatters. Taqueria, 27, Stratford Proper, and Zest. Zest. All right, so. They will all let your dog show up and but have dinner with you. There are some rules. And I'm so, so surprised that there's no vaccination thing here. You would think. I would think that. Posting signs that alert patrons that dogs will be on the premises. <laughs> it's a warning attack dog. One of those signs you see on fences. Uh, outside entrance with a patio area. Patio cleaned with pet friendly chemicals. At the start of each shift or every six hours. Wow, that's a lot of cleaning. Pet bathroom accidents must be cleaned up in five minutes. Yeah, I would appreciate that because it's in an eating area. And see, that's another thing. I don't want to see a pet accident when I'm having dinner. I go out to dinner to get away from my home. I thought I ordered extra guac. Um, what else? Uh, they cannot be on the table or on chairs. And you know someone's going to. Look, it's my teacup poodle. They can be given water, but cannot eat food of any kind, including dog treats. Dogs cannot have contact with dishes or utensils. I'm sorry. You know out there, there's someone who's feeding their dog something off a fork right now. I'm sorry, but why Why do you have to take your, your dog to dinner with you? Or lunch, for that matter. I love our dog. Oh, my gosh, so dearly. But no. This is a thing. And they say that they're getting inundated with more requests, and so they have like a form you have to fill out. and you $315 to apply. You must really, really want to have dogs at your place. I know. Because that's a lot of money. Renewals 110. Um, and the whole cleaning with the pet-friendly supplies every six hours. I just I just see the d dining thing as being this, you know, adult-to-adult -adult thing or... You know, kids and stuff Family, like that. Great as, too. A, as opposed to, good boy, look at that good dog. Look at him. I'd just rather talk to adults. I didn't mean to pat you like a dog. Like that's the first time. Unless you like it. <laughs> I... All right, so moving on. Speaking of dining. No, we're talking about dining. This is hysterical. And what really stuns me, though, is, is that they went with this and they're <clears> okay about it. I, we, Todd and I had dinner at uh, Charlie Trotter's, which was this epic Chicago restaurant. And at the end of it, they took us down to the wine cellar and we're like, don't touch anything, don't touch anything. Oh, and so one, of the it was girls, one of the girls grabs one of the red wines. We're like, <gasps> and the girl's eating with us, yeah. And she grabs it like this, and the host, the, the, the waiter, the maitre d', basically went for her, like, like she was gonna, he's gonna grab her face. But instead, grabbed the wine and cradled it. So you know the wine cellars are exceptionally precious, especially fine dining areas. Because of shaking up the sediment well, in this bottle that was like $1,200. Oh my gosh. This is in Manchester, England. It's a branch of the steak chain Hawksmoor, which is very, yeah. very uh, freaking cool. Uh, now, the diner had ordered a 2001 Chateau Pichon in Longueville de, de Lange. Wow. I'm embarrassed. Look how sexy she which is. Which is listed at 335 bucks. Well... 
it was a very busy night at the restaurant and it was a very simple mistake. This is the spokesperson. A uh, member uh, of the staff picked up the wrong bottle, mistaking it for another Bordeaux of well, the same vintage. Probably gave Wine went something. out and served to the customer. Nah, I'm sure he was like, there you this go. Is, the bouquet is lovely. Thank you. Uh, My, that's a delicious wine. That was so, worth $335. So a cheaper version of something, right? Accidentally, they were given a bottle of Chateau Le Pin, uh, Pulmerel, I th think. And uh, so we hope this enjoyed you enjoyed this and it helped go to your evening because this is actually a five thousand three hundred and fifty five dollar bottle Shut of wine. <laughs> and then they showed a tweet and they said, "Look, they look very similar. You can see why this happened." So what happened? But they they said that they feel bad for the staff member. It's not their fault. It's a simple mistake. I'm sorry, but if I were running that restaurant, oh, I would club him gosh. with a. I mean, because. So what? Three hundred. Fifty three hundred dollars. Fifty three hundred as opposed to what? Three. Three hundred thirty five. I mean, they're still oh. blowing the budget for a nice bottle. All right. Of so wine, here's but... the question. Here's the question. Um, and we've had some nice bottles of wine, and we've had not nice bottles of wine. And I, I would say that we are not connoisseurs. At I have all. zero palate. I don't blush. We we usually follow friends' suggestions and stuff like that, but knowing. That it was a three hundred and thirty dollar bottle of wine, and tasting it, you would expect something out of it. But then all of a sudden, I want worth... little chorus girls tap dancing on my tongue. I want them to actually form on my tongue and dance. You, I, that's what I need. You need to save your cash up then. Um, but to drink the more expensive thing, would you psychologically know the difference? If I you would, had them side by side. I wouldn't let you waste it on me. You know I don't have a palate. I wouldn't. I and, wouldn't. And, and the thing is, is that you and I, neither one of us are dumb enough to, let that me rephrase be... that, neither one of us have the value system that would allow us to spend $7,300 on a bottle of wine, much no. less $335. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. But, but right. they were, they said, <clears throat> they told the member of the staff, chin up, accidents happen. I'm like, you are the Shoot. nicest people in England. Oh, man. Can you imagine? Walk on, on eggshells after that as a worker there. Okay, now, so. What, what did you guys do for senior pranks? You did something, nothing. right? You guys didn't prank anything on your senior year in high school? I don't even know what that means. You didn't, you didn't do like a prank? Like I went to Highland High and we, we put a ram in the main hallway of East High and it went down on the marble thing and its little hooves were tapping and you could hear it click because it was a ram because we, we were the Highland ram. And it pooped. Well, I thought it was more about the hooves. And I didn't remember whether it pooped or not. I was too busy laughing. I'm sure it would. So you didn't do anything like that? No pranks? Well? I was kind of on the outside of high school mm. edge of society. but Shaquelemy High School. Boy, that's a fancy name. Um, they do do pranks at their east. school. Yeah. And uh, one of the things that they usually do is they release a dozen chickens into the high school. I love that. Which is, I'm sorry, even if I were a teacher, I'd be like, that's pretty good. I love that. I mean, I, I guess perhaps it had gone too far, but for 40 years they've been releasing the chickens for 40 years. It into was like the school. They were obligated right? to do it. They turned desks over gently, oh so gently. Well, and that's the thing. It looks like. Perhaps they went overboard. They said there was a lot of toilet paper, chickens, a lot of Vaseline on the handles of doors, and then there was the chickens. Now, this is the the principal of the school. He said, he said, as a general rule, I think people are taking this too seriously. I could see why people might be upset, but it's tradition. Apparently, the school superintendent of that county did not think so, and he has suspended the senior advisor, uh, who I guess oversees such things, yeah, yeah, the yeah. vice principal and the principal. It's like, yeah. where do they come into, oh, you shouldn't have done that? Chickens. I, 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 wouldn't, think even, it was, I wouldn't have ever thought of chickens and Vaseline. Yeah, and that you is, thought the ram being released was wrong. That's normal. Uh, but chickens and Vaseline, that, that's a combo. And toilet paper. That's a combo. So that's, um, apparently the superintendent is now in charge. I say good for parents you. Parents are like, why are you in charge? This has been happening leave, for 40 years. Leave your mark if it's harmless. If it doesn't hurt anybody it's else. It's chickens. They made them clean it up. You can vacuum. I mean, it's, it's oh. chickens. Come on. Well, chickens, it's mopping. But yeah. Well, okay. yeah. Man, what if I had been suspended? Oh, oh, and all the seniors were suspended who did the prank. So they can't walk with the rest of the class. Worth it's it. It's chicken. Worth it worth it and you know they're sitting there home going i don't care half of my friends walked up and got their diplomas when they opened the diplomas they were empty <gasps> that's horrible they were 
M-T. Was that because of fees or what, <laughs> Grace? <laughs> Library stuff, too. You're like, oh. it, was like, it was like, and they didn't, we didn't care. We didn't care. We were all wearing shorts under our gowns. My we friend were going did down to Lake Powell back, that we were done. He did backflips across the thing. That's really cool. When the beer can fell out. So anyway, the point being here, kids, is graduate from high school. Um, Thank you, and don't Game of maybe Thrones. stay with the chickens, but don't expand. I have gotten so much crap about this that I've never watched an episode of oh, Game of Thrones. Oh, it's a big thing. I it, watched the first season, then I'm like, okay, I can't do it anymore. I didn't. I, I couldn't. I don't have time. I don't have time for it. But now, evidently, viewers especially like when you killed off Khal Drogo. He some was, of your I don't even know what you're talking about. Uh, some of you people. Uh, love it so much. A so vast majority. For how instance, many people? 43 million people. 43 um, million people. That would tell me that there's lots and lots of people who watched it. And this is a huge jump even from last season. Right. So everyone's like, oh my God, last season I have to watch it. But here's where it goes wrong. People are pissed off. Now, I'm not going to do any spoilers because if no. you haven't seen it so far, I haven't far seen be it, it for yet. me to screw it Don't up for you. Don't do it. But if you're still trying to catch up, things have been happening that are very surprising and perhaps unexpected. And... People are pissed off. They're I heard like, about that. Should not have happened. That's completely wrong. I, that never would have happened. I heard just about the lighting was horrible. Well, and now the plot. Winter so, is coming, okay. so it's a mess. Of so, course so the may bad. I say this? May I say this? Um, what other series? Oh, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. <laughs> you didn't like the ending, and so you're going to demand that she sit down and write an alternative ending to Harry Potter. The final thing. Change.org's already had more than 350,000 signatures. Once they get to 500,000 signatures, they are going to send it to HBO. They say showrunners, uh, Ben Off and D.B. Weiss, have proven themselves to be woefully incompetent when it comes to writing a, a pivotal series. They say that this season deserves a final season that makes oh. sense. Please rewrite and reshoot this season. Okay, so if you do that, you have to do it in claymation. Okay. So like, what's the dog? What's the dog and Garrett and what's his name? The the dog with the chickens and the farmer and his wife and they're killing chickens and they're flying and they're the, chicken run. Yeah, chicken run. Mm -hmm. This is Tweety. Yeah, you have to do it like that. Wallace and Gromit. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. You gotta do claymation, baby. That would sort Game of, of Thrones. That would actually be sort of be awesome because you know they remake major movies now with Legos, so That's why not? So funny. All right. Um, but they're pissed. They're like, no. I, it has to be started all over It's again. adult talk time, ladies and gentlemen. When one is trying to make a baby, two people fall in love. <laughs> and they, they get together. And they create a beautiful baby. Do I need to distance myself from this conversation? An uh, inch or two would be good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so anyway, to do this, um, and, and, and a lot of guys um, are falling uh, a tad short of their, watch me work this, I'm a professional, short of their desired performance. Their potential? But their potential. For for reproduction mm, requiring a certain apparatus element that would be <laughs> all right added so to so here's the mix. deal so if you are a person trying to do this and trying to create a, a wonderful uh, oh yeah they tell guys like baby. not to ride bikes for a while because stop it, it. Oh. i'm talking a story so uh yeah boxer shorts mm -hmm. are better than briefs it's i all, know we ladies appreciate them it's all about the temperature we're going to do this like this. So the temperature, yeah, stay off the bike. It's all about temperature and stuff. And, and if you think about men in the current state of the world we live in, they sit where at a desk for how long? Eight hours. And they do that. And there is no flow of coolness, air, and stuff like that. And that's why they have invented <laughs> the cooling device that is worn under one's underwear. I got to do this a hand signal or something. Um, <laughs> don't, I might just move don't, on. Ye don't yell on me and saying this. Okay. Franks and beans. This is about the beans. So what they do is 
It's like a pair of earmuffs. I'll be back when you're finished. <laughs> I can't, I'm not, I'm tapping out. Okay, so it's it's a pair of earmuffs that kind of go around and they have special cooling uh, gels in them and they make it better. And you can actually follow it like my CPAP machine online <laughs> on an app to see how long I kept my CPAP on breathing and how long they kept the on themselves and following that they would do tests and find out if they are getting more come back in <laughs> are we done with this conversation i think we're, so we're all done now right so we're finished but, with but, this truly ill-advised yeah okay cool tech it's called cool tech okay we're done tech. now right <laughs> earmuffs think of it have a lovely weekend. You guys have a wonderful time. We'll have more delightful food trends for you on Monday. Oh. And perhaps no Todd. <laughs> it just depends. What? I just just doing this. Don't don't do that anymore. Okay. Just I say goodbye. I'm not in trouble. She thinks it's funny. She just won't laugh right no, now. No, it's actually sort of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. That's my goal in life is to make cooling her creepy. gel. Cooling gel. Okay. We're done. <laughs>